My first look at the Earth from that vantage point was on ascent in my you know, wrist mirror, <laughs> looking at the aft window behind me, knowing that I was the first one that had to get out of their seat and uh, film our external tank falling away. That was my first job, aside from all the monitoring that I had to do. And so my view of it was very fleeting and very technical. It was background to the task that I had at hand, and that was pointing a camera at an external tank so that it could be analyzed. Then when we got into orbit, we had a very fast-paced mission, which all space shuttle missions were. You had 10 to 12 days of fast-paced work. And it was my commander, Scott Kelly, who carved out 90 minutes, an entire orbit on flight day 10. And he said to the rookies, the three of us, I want you guys all in that window, and I don't want you to move. And he already pre-coordinated it, got the lights turned off on the station so we could see everything in its grandeur. And that was the first moment that I had to really soak it in and discovered a lot of things about my reaction to that view in that relatively short period of time. And then of course there was my space station flight where I lived up there for six months and every night that I could, I was planted in that cupola, much like the picture shows, and gazing at it. And there wasn't a single regret I had about the time I spent there. In fact, it almost, I dare say, grieved me to think about how in the world am I gonna describe this? There's no, there's no words. There's no picture I could take to do it justice. There's no watercolors that I could um, put on paper to come close to the vividness, the ever-changing picture that I see staring at this planet. Everything from the colors to what changes the atmosphere go through, depending on where the sun angle is and whether the moon's in the view or not, to just how fast we're going over the surface of it and the way shadows are changing. You could see the same land mass over a period of two weeks and it looks completely different because of that to then looking at the stars and the, and the blackness, a black that nothing here on Earth ever can replicate. And then you look at the space station around you and you're like, this is amazing. And all the people who are a part of this structure that are, I know, you know, either at their desks you know, creating the next great marvel, or they're sitting in mission control, controlling everything I see. And that's where it kind of hits you that you are but a small fraction of the human race that will ever get to see this the way it is right now.